Governor J.B. Pritzker announces new training for members of the Illinois Prisoner Review Board in the wake of the controversy that led to the resignations of two board members. The board approved the parole of a man who was later accused of stabbing his pregnant ex-girlfriend and killing her 11-year-old son. One thing that we've decided to do is to make sure that we enhance the domestic violence training that all PRB members get, including all the ones that are there now and, of course, any new ones that are proposed, uh, to make sure that this never happens again. The 11-year-old boy who was killed was Jaden Perkins. He was a beloved classmate at Pierce Elementary School and friends say a gifted dance student at Gus Giordano student, stu, uh, Studios in Andersonville. WGN's Mike Lowe reports on the legacy Jaden leaves behind. At just 11 years old, Jaden Perkins had already figured out the quickest way to arrive at Joy was to dance there. When I received my scholarship from Gus, I was like, oh my God, seriously? I always wanted to go here. With a scholarship at Gus Giordano Dance Studio, he found happiness and he brought it to others. I really call them an angel here on earth because you never saw Jaden upset not happy, not trying, not being a friend to everyone in the room. Everyone in the building adored Jaden. Studio Executive Director Amy Giordano remembers Jaden's grace as a dancer. And his talent as a singer, which impressed the producers of MJ, the Michael Jackson Broadway musical. But perhaps the most important quality was the courage he had to step on the stage, the courage to risk failure. Dance takes a lot of courage, and Jaden was, Jaden was our hero. What did you hear? Screaming, just screaming, yelling, screaming, help. It was courage that led Jaden to step between his pregnant mother and a knife-wielding attacker who broke into his home on the morning of March 13th, just as he was ready to walk out the door to school. An innocent child's life was taken as he tried to protect his mother. She has to face the fact that she will never see, touch, hug her 11-year-old son. She's lost him forever. Jaden shielded his mom's body and was stabbed in the chest. The chest wound had cut victim two's carotid artery, killing him. The man arrested and charged with the killing was the mother's former boyfriend from 15 years earlier. He had a history of domestic violence and was out on parole, released just one day before the attack, and had violated an order of protection, according to authorities. A crime that has shocked our city to its core. Jaden's mother was also stabbed multiple times. The family is asking for privacy. His friends are asking for justice. We can't carry on as normal. It has been a difficult few days at Pierce Elementary School in Chicago's Andersonville neighborhood. Principal Lori Ann Zamey is helping students through their grief. We're just taking things one day at a time. When I was told, I, I couldn't believe it. It was just like a blur to me because like that was my best friend and I never thought that anything like that would happen to him. Jaden's classmates have plastered his locker. I kind of feel like fly high Jaden. And the walls around it. I left pictures. With memories and messages. The kids talked about him being that superhero. He loved Spider-Man, he loved the Marvel comics, and his protection of his mother showed how much of a superhero he is. His sixth grade classmates. I'll just miss having him around. All described him. That was my best friend. It was like. The same way. Kind of like a brother to me. He was my bestest friend. Tell me about that. What, what was your friendship like? I could tell him anything and he could tell me anything. We would call um, like almost every day. He was like my brother from another mother. Like if I told him a secret, he could keep it. He wouldn't tell nobody. Jaden played football and starred in the school musical. 
His friends remembered his warmth and compassion, but most of all, his ability to spread joy. If somebody was like sad, he would like turn their frown upside down. And that's what his dancing was all about. In moving his body, he moved everyone else around him to a better place. Everybody in the room got better because Jaden was loving it so much. Jayden, we love you! In Andersonville, Mike Lowe, WGN News.